हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द थर्ड सेशन ऑफ इंडक्शन प्रोग्राम ऑफ एम एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम इन दिस सेशन विल डिस्कस डिसर्टेशन इन एम एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम एंड इट्स ऑपरेशनल इश्यूज यू नो द कोड ऑफ डिसर्टेशन कोर्स इज एम ई एस पी जीरो जीरो वन व्हिच इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट कोर्स प्रैक्टिकल ओरिएंटेड कोर्स प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड कोर्स ऑफ एम एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम एंड मैनी अ टाइम uh the information uh the phone call and email that i receive from uh, the learners that uh, uh, you know they are completing all the theory courses uh, core courses as well as the specialized the courses under the specialized areas and when they are coming uh, at the second year of their program that is in the dissertation course they find certain difficulties okay so keeping in consideration of uh, you can say the skills that are being required to pursue this dissertation course dedicatedly this session has been uh, kept in this industry induction program to help you all to understand that what you have to do in the dissertation course and uh, accordingly how you will pursue it in the past two sessions earlier we have discussed the very objectives and structure of this two year ma education program and further we have discussed the very concept and the knowledge base that are being addressed uh, in different courses of ma education program and uh, here in this session we are going to dedicatedly discuss the dissertation course that is mesp001 and its operational issues let me to introduce myself uh, i dr niradhar de associate professor school of education igno i welcome you all i am also program coordinator uh, of this ma education program briefly just to touch upon very structure of this program in the first year you have to study 34 credits six different courses are there mes 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 and uh, in second year you have to study one elective area we have five different elective areas you have to select any one area and from that area all the courses included in that area you have to study so total 24 credits you have to study and another compulsory component uh, that is in the second year of your program that is the dissertation okay mesp001 this is the course code so you have to uh, compulsorily do a dissertation a project work and this is 10 credits so accordingly 34 credits are there in the second year now let me to focus upon what is the very objectives of the dissertation course okay so what type of skills what type of competencies this dissertation course uh, uh, will provide you and when you will engage yourself in the dissertation course what type of skills that are required to pursue this course first of all uh, this dissertation course will help you to identify a research problem for dissertation work so friends you have to select a research problem you have to select uh, a area a title on which you have to do your work this is a small research and uh, let me to say you have already studied in the first year of your program uh, 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 the course mes 016 is there that is educational research many teleconferencing sessions i have taken and video lessons are also available uh, in youtube uh, 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 in empc uh, uh, igno youtube channel you can also go through that uh, uh, what are the different component what are the different aspects are there for conducting your dissertation work and uh, it will help you uh, to select a good program uh, good problem for conducting your study many a time uh, learners ask me question that uh, what type of topic they supposed to select what type of problem they supposed to select so here let me to say that the problem should be related with uh, education system related with educational discourses related with different stages of education related with educational management educational technology Uh, distance education the areas that you have studied from your program and uh, it may be related with school education its pedagogic practices teacher education and other types of education also further this course will help you to evaluate the feasibility suitability and significance of the problem many a time you select a research problem for conducting your dissertation work but but many a time i go through your synopsis go through your proposal as well as the dissertation report many a time the title the research problem that you have selected that is not linked with that is not uh, uh, exactly 
you know addressing the educational issues the educational problems ok so you are the student of education discipline you are doing your master program so that is why the problem that you have to select for your dissertation work should be related with the educational issues should be related. if you will go through the NEP 2020 you will find that many important uh, concepts are there many important aspects are there from there you can select a topic from there you can select any educational issues and you can conduct your dissertation further another objective of this dissertation course is to describe various components of a research proposal how you will prepare the research proposal okay you have to prepare a synopsis or the research proposal and uh, further you have to we will be discussing further you have to submit that proposal at your concerned regional center and your regional center uh, will evaluate uh, that research proposal and you will get uh, an approval of your research proposal before conducting the dissertation work. So, that is why uh, how you will prepare a research proposal this course will also enable you what are the different components of a research proposal is there then accordingly uh, how you will prepare. Further other objectives are to prepare a research proposal it will also under, uh, help you to understand a research proposal the concept of a research proposal and further you will develop skill to prepare a research proposal and another objective is to execute the research proposal that means after getting the approval of the research proposal you have to do the dissertation work you have to do the research work and you have to prepare a research report so the objective is to write a research report in the form of a dissertation okay so for that uh, you know we provide the support uh, uh, services we provide certain support to the learners that without facing a difficulty how they will understand a research proposal, how they will conduct the study and how they will prepare uh, uh, the report of the dissertation. And here let me to say many a time what the learners do they directly send uh, 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 research proposal as well as the dissertation report to school of education as the program is launched in school of education. We follow a decentralized system of evaluation. So, that is why what you have to do the research proposal that uh, you have prepared you are supposed to submit it at your concerned regional center. Okay? We have uh, the approved experts at the uh, regional center uh, your proposal will be evaluated by the uh, experts and uh, you will get a report you will get a letter from the regional center about approval of your research proposal. Then after getting the proposal you have to conduct the study. Uh, basing upon the nature of your program uh, pro problem if it is a field based study you have to go to the field you have to collect data and you have to analyze the data then accordingly you have to prepare a report and further that report you have to submit at the concerned regional center ok. So, submission of research proposal will be at the regional center and at the same time submission of the dissertation report will also be at the regional center no need of sending the synopsis as well as the dissertation report to school of education. So, many a time we receive post from the learners and again what you do we send it to the regional center. So, uh, I request all our learners do not send to school of education we follow a decentralized system. So, that is why submit it at your concerned regional center. And now let me to focus upon what support that we provide for our learners for pursuing this dissertation work as this is certain complexities are there and certain difficulty tasks are there in this course as it is a practical oriented course. So, without a support learners cannot pursue this dissertation course. So, first of all one of the most important support is we have developed a course that is educational research course code is MES016 that is included in the first year of your program. So, if you will go through the detail uh, uh, blocks detail units of this course definitely uh, you will get a detailed understanding about the theoretical construct of educational research. Okay? So, what is the very concept of a sample what is the very concept of a population and how you can draw an adequate sample from a population how you can define your population then what techniques you supposed to use uh, for selecting a, a sample and further how to prepare a tool for collecting data it may be a questionnaire it may be an interview it may be a sociometric technique it may be a rating scale for uh, you know uh, for knowing uh, uh, for assessing the attitude 
okay. and how to prepare uh, an achievement test, how to prepare uh, an attitude test. So, all such understanding, all such theoretical concepts, theoretical uh, uh, discussions are there uh, in this course MES 016 educational research. So, that is why the theoretical course educational research is associated with linked with this dissertation work. That means, the theoretical understanding of educational research that you have gained from the first year course of MES 016 that further you have to implement it in the second year when you will do the practical uh, uh, work, when you will do the project work, the dissertation work in the second year. So, that is why this is one of the support that meticulously uh, you have to go through, you have to read, you have to understand MES 016 educational research course. And second one is you know handbook on dissertation work. We have developed one handbook on dissertation work. You can see now I am just showing you handbook on dissertation work. I think you must have received this handbook uh, in dissertation work uh, and the soft copy of this book is also available uh, in e course. If you have not received you can download it from e course. And in this handbook you will find detailed discussions have been made and we have also discussed how uh, you, how you will prepare a research proposal and we have also discussed uh, uh, different components of a research proposal, different uh, steps that you are supposed to uh, address in research proposal. Then uh, taking uh, you know a certain question, taking certain topic, certain problem we have also prepared research proposal okay. and uh, if you go through uh, this uh, handbook you will, you will not find any difficulty for preparing a research proposal. Uh, accordingly, program guide, we have developed a program guide also here you will get uh, detailed information about this program, about the courses and uh, the instructional process uh, uh, relating to uh, your assignment and how you will pursue this program and how you will proceed in your study from the very beginning of your program till the end of your program okay, for completing this program. So, these are the certain uh, uh, documents that you have developed, you are supposed to go through it when you are pursuing this program. So, that is why the second support that is the handbook on dissertation work, you are supposed to go through it when uh, uh, you conduct the dissertation work. And the third is allotment of supervisor for the dissertation work. So, friends, as this is a practical oriented course, so what we have done, we have kept this provision that uh, uh, in your concern study center, the coordinator of your center will provide you, will alert you a guide, alert you a supervisor and uh, you are supposed to interact with the supervisor, come contact with the supervisor and discuss with your supervisor relating to the research problem that uh, you will select for your dissertation work and uh, uh, how you will prepare the research proposal also. So, in consultation with your supervisor, you have to pursue this dissertation course. So, that is why allotment of supervisor is there. With the guidance of the supervisor, you have to do the dissertation work. Then further counseling sessions for the dissertation work at the study center. Just like counseling sessions that we conduct at the study center for the theory courses, here also we kept counseling provision for counseling session in the dissertation course. Okay. So, uh, basing upon different components of your dissertation work, it may be research proposal, and it may be tool construction, it may be sampling, it may be data analysis, dedicated sessions are there, counselors will take sessions about the dissertation and uh, you are supposed to uh, attend those sessions for uh, clarifying your doubts uh, and many a time you are asking questions that you are facing difficulty. If you go through all such processes, all such instructional processes, I, I do not think that you will find any difficulty for pursuing your dissertation work. Then further regular online interventions from the uh, main campus on dissertation component, particularly as a program coordinator, uh, I uh, uh, take many sessions on dissertation. I know there is certain uh, uh, you can say difficulty ness is there so far as uh, you know conducting a research. Uh, uh, in your program. So, that is why uh, I take many sessions on sampling, on tools, on uh, statistical techniques used, on uh, uh, research methodology that what particular research methods that you are supposed to uh, use for conducting the dissertation work. So, regularly you should go through the schedule of uh, 
teleconferencing as well as the interactive radio counseling and you supposed to attend the sessions. I have already shown you the handbook on dissertation work as well as I was talking earlier MES 016 educational research. You must have gone through this course and uh, the importance of this course is much more because this course is related with the dissertation work. So, that is why you are supposed to go through uh, rigorously of this uh, two course. Then now the operational issues how uh, you will pursue this dissertation course. You see I have already said that allotment of a supervisor will be there in your study center. At the second year at the beginning of the uh, second year of your program the coordinator of your study center will alert you a supervisor and you will consult with your supervisor and you have to prepare the research proposal and uh, you have to submit that res uh, research proposal at the regional center. And the second uh, point is preparation of a research proposal. I was talking earlier, the research proposal should be based upon a research problem which is related with the educational discourses, related with the nature of education related with uh, uh, you can say it may be pedagogy, it may be different other aspects of education, educational management and uh, it may be related with different uh, psychological variables in education that uh, we use may be related to achievement, intelligence, uh, may be related to aptitude, creativity, attitude of teachers, attitude of students on certain aspects. So, the problem should be related, uh, problem should be certain rationality should be there, certain justification should be there on the research problem that you have selected for conducting your study. So, accordingly you have to prepare a research proposal in consultation with your guide. Many a time without going to the study center, without consulting with the uh, coordinator of your study center, you ask that how you will pursue a dissertation work and many a time what uh, uh, learners do. Uh, they uh, you know uh, uh, <coughs> they engage themselves at the last moment you can say the last part of their studency period for conducting this dissertation work. So, I request all of you at the very beginning of second year you supposed to go through this dissertation work because it takes time it takes uh, uh, at least 3 4 months time it takes for conducting your dissertation. So, that is why whole year with uh, going through the specialized courses, you supposed to engage yourself in doing the dissertation work. Then further I have already said that uh, approval of the research proposal uh, by the regional center, uh, need not to send the research proposal to school of education for evaluation. After taking the uh, uh, approval or forwarding from your uh, concerned guide, you supposed to submit the research proposal at the regional center and the regional center will provide you the approval. It may take 15 days or 1 month of time, you will get a approval. And if you are not getting the approval, then uh, you are supposed to go through that what comments are given, then accordingly you can modify it and you can resubmit it. Then conduct the research work after getting the approval, you have to do the work, you have to go to the field, you have to implement the research proposal, you have to collect data okay? and you have to analyze the data and for the writing report of the dissertation. After conducting the study, you are supposed to write the dissertation. I have already said that how to write the dissertation, what are the different components are there for writing the dissertation report. So, it is there in the handbook of, handbook of dissertation work. So, definitely go through it that how you will write, how you will write the preliminary section, how you will write the main body, main body of your dissertation work. Okay? So, all such things are there in handbook on dissertation work. Then other operational issues are just like submission of dissertation report for evaluation at the concerned regional center, you have to submit your dissertation report. Then evaluation of the dissertation report by the external examiner will be done at the concerned regional center, then conduct a viabus examination by the external examiner. So, here two types of evaluation will be done, first that is evaluation of the dissertation report, then the report that you have submitted and further one viva bus one interview will be taken at the regional center. Okay? So, basing upon the performance of your interview as well as the report that you have submitted, you will be awarded. And uh, we follow uh, a 5 point uh, letter grade system so far as evaluation of dissertation and your program is concerned that is highest grade is A and lowest grade is E. A grade uh, that is 80 percent and above, B is 60 to 79.9, C is 50 to 59.9, D is 40 to 49.9 and E grade is 
below 40 percent. So, here let me to say so far as dissertation course is concerned, uh, 70 percent weightage is given to dissertation report and 30 percent weightage is given to the dissertation viva verse. Try to understand. Just like in a theoretical course, 30 percent weightage is given to assignment and 70 percent weightage is given to torment examination. So, accordingly in the uh, in dissertation course, 70 percent weightage is given to dissertation report and 30 percent weightage is given to dissertation by purpose. And minimum C grade is required in the evaluation of dis dissertation report. Then accordingly, minimum C grade is also required in the by uh, of the dissertation uh, report. So, here uh, at least you have to earn a C grade in dissertation report evaluation and also C grade in by purpose. And further, in consolidated C grade is also required for successful completion of the dissertation course. Okay. So, here at least you suppose to earn uh, C grade in your dissertation course, consolidated C grade and as well as individual C grade. That means, C grade from dissertation evaluation and also C grade in a uh, viva verse of the dissertation. And so far as uh, you know your uh, uh, theory course is concerned, you have two components in theory courses. One is uh, uh, assignment and other is torment examination. 30 percent weightage is given to assignment and 70 percent weightage is, is given to torment examination. Okay? And in a course, if you have uh, uh, received in any component, it may be assignment or it may be torment examination. At least if you have earned a D grade, that means you are pass in that component. It may be assignment or it may be torment examination. I am just uh, talking about a theory course. And uh, but for successful completion of that course, you required a C grade. That means combining the assignment and torment examination, you supposed to get a C grade. And in a dissertation, it is something different. In a dissertation, at least you have to earn C grade in dissertation report evaluation as well as C grade in dissertation viva bus and consolidated C grade is also required in dissertation. And overall completion of MA education program at least a C grade is required. Uh, that includes all the theory courses in first year and second year as well as to include the dissertation course also at least a C grade should be there. So, friends uh, this is uh, about the dissertation course. Uh, we discussed the operational issues of the dissertation course and uh, in our next session we will discuss the other operational issues that how you will proceed and how you will pursue this program. Many a time you ask question that how we will proceed in our study uh, after enrollment, what are the different things that you supposed to do. So, next session we will be discussing on operational issues of MA education program and how you will resolve the difficulties that you face and how smoothly you can continue your study and successfully to complete this program. Thank you.